everybody, welcome back to Northern Alliance Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. Weird run today, uh, we are playing as Kane, I guess it's not that weird, it's kind of similar to runs that we have done earlier, but this is called Medicine Cabinet, or, uh, more colloquially, from the official name from YouTube user Amoron is here, which, you know, I didn't say that, he actually made that himself. Uh, this is called Kane Got Into the Medicine Cabinet, so the way that this run is supposed to work, we have Mom's Bottle of Pills and Safety Cap and Mom's Purse, uh, so obviously this is gonna allow us to get a lot of pills and identify them, and we're the Luckfoot, or we're Kane, so we have the Luckfoot, uh, which causes all pills to, at the very least, not be bad. We also have Habit, Battery, and 9 Volt, uh, which is gonna allow us to get a staggering amount of pills, so why don't we just take some right away. There are some conditions to this run. We're not allowed to take any items that raise, uh, our stats, except for damage and health. So we're not allowed to take anything that raises our, uh, tiers, our speed, or our range. Presumably because the pills are already gonna do that to such a staggering degree. So I will take these pills, uh, start taking these pills at some point. I should clarify that, I'm pretty sure, it, there was no clarification in the original post, but I'm pretty sure it means we can take pills that have those, otherwise we might, you know, literally only have, like, two different kinds of pills that we can take over the course of the entire game. Uh, item rooms are on the table, which seems a little crazy to me, but, uh, we can't get rid of our spacebar items, so presumably, you know, up to half of the item rooms, up to all of the item rooms, I suppose, literally, uh, could be useless. But we're just getting as many pills as possible for right now. So hopefully those conditions make sense. We're gonna get a tiers upgrade. So it, already I might have forsaken this run. But obviously the way that this run is supposed to work, as we will absolutely take Mr. Mega, uh, the way that this run is supposed to work, or the, the balancing factors on this run, or factor I suppose, is supposed to be that we're gonna get a lot of raw statistical or attribute upgrades uh, by way of our kind of staggering amount of pills. Uh, and we're gonna compensate by not taking any, you know, speed upgrades or range upgrades that we would otherwise find just kind of natively in the wild. Now, uh, shops item rooms are totally, uh, on the table. It's kind of like a glorified vanilla run. There are some negatives, uh, associated with the run, like the fact that we can't get rid of the coin purse, but to be quite honest with you, sorry, not the coin purse, the, uh, pill bottle. Uh, but to be quite honest with you, the pill bottle is probably going to be insanely valuable for us. My gut reaction is that we're probably going to be, uh, exceptionally powerful. I'm not totally sure. I guess it's one of those runs where we're going to start out fairly weak, uh, but we should gain a lot of power as we move forwards. Hopefully that's, uh, a good enough kind of estimation of how things are going to go here, but in the meantime, let's go fight our boss. Remember, tiers, range, damage, or sorry, tiers, range, uh, speed are off the table unless we get them actually from pills, and I hope I'm, uh, again, kind of interpreting this run correctly, because if, if the run is, uh, you can't actually, by the way, I know I should use this pill bottle right away, but I also don't want to take damage, uh, if the run is actually that I can't take speed upgrades or tier upgrades or range upgrades from pills, then I'm sorry, I have no control over that, uh, past the first one. Uh, so, you know, I, that's why I'm thinking it can't possibly be that, but in any case, Monstro's dead. We get an HP upgrade, it does not have a tiers upgrade associated with it, not that it would have mattered. Uh, but our pill is... health up. We got a fantastic suite of pills. Uh, now, as we know, Balls of Steel, Tears Upgrade, and Health Upgrade, these are good pills to have with us, uh, and could possibly make us insanely powerful as we move forward. So remember Deals with the Devil? Totally on the table, here's another pill. That's not a good one to have necessarily in our rotation, but, you know, we do have probably the three best pills in our rotation so far, so I can't really complain, obviously. My, my three favorite pills would, ah, uh, you know, three of my four favorite pills would be Health Upgrade, uh, tears upgrade and balls of steel. The other one that would definitely be in there would be uh, full health. This one is telepills, which I'm not super psyched about, but it did allow us to go into uh, the curse room here, where we are going to pick up Guppy's tail free of charge. Sadly, we are going to take half a spirit heart of damage on the way out, but half a spirit heart for Guppy's tail is a totally fair trade. No question about that, really. Uh, now, hopefully, we just get some, uh, you know, an assortment of keys in order to make that worthwhile. Uh, we do have more pills. I probably should air on the side of caution and maybe not take them right away, but I, I did anyway. That's gonna be the the other um, kind of thing that's gonna be difficult to manage here is figuring out when to take these pills, because there are gonna be times when I want to use the the uh, bottle of pills as soon as uh, the kind of refractory period or the charge period is up, uh, but I also don't want to give myself that period of vulnerability where I'm Zelda -ing, Zelda ing them over my head, if that makes any sense, but we are gaining like, you know, on long rooms at least two-thirds of a pill per room, which is pretty crazy. Uh, and, you know, one pill every two rooms is gonna be amazing for us. We're already getting insanely strong. Uh, portable slot machine is not gonna be something that we're gonna be too interested in. I don't even know what I would want from the shop at this point. Uh, but, so you know what? Actually, I'm not gonna use any keys to get to the shop because there's kinda no point. I'm trying to think, ah, uh, actually, that's not true. I'm full of shit. We should definitely try to get the compass and the map. I was thinking, I was like, I can't take any stat upgrades. I can't take, like, Book of Revelations or anything like that. I obviously can't take Dad's key, but I'm not worried about wasting a bomb there. 
but yeah, map and compass would actually give us a, a substantial, you know, benefit moving forwards. More I found pills, we might as well take these even though I don't think they have any effect. Uh, the coin purse is a big buy probably, considering the uh, kind of upgrades that we have so far in our kind of pill rotation. So why don't we come in here, we're gonna play the blood bank, possibly earn an HP upgrade, worst case scenario, earn an HP upgrade. Either way, we are going to get a, a lot of pills as well, just by doing this, which is beautiful for us. Uh, we're definitely going to get enough money to... Oh my god, seriously? Give me like a health upgrade or a tears upgrade pill, please. At the very least, we're getting uh, enough money. Telepills, I don't really want that right now, to be quite honest with you. Uh, we're up to 20 cents. We have enough spirit hearts to make this run work for sure. We will take telepills when we finish this room. Uh, I just want to do one more play on the blood bank here. I would love the HP upgrade at this point, but that's not gonna happen. We have two telepills, which I'm actually not that fond of because I don't want to accidentally not be able to fight the boss. We will buy the coin purse now and see what we get. Uh, one of these is balls of steel, which has definitely made that worthwhile for me. Uh, <clears throat> and then two health upgrades. Again, that is excellent for us and uh, a very good use of 15 cents, no question about it. So we have telepills and what's this one? It's just I found pills. All right. Again, good use of 15 cents. We have a staggering amount of advantages. Probably an unfair amount of advantages, to be quite honest with you. Uh, moving forward so far, but I'm just doing the top upvoted challenge run suggestion, not to use Reddit terminology here. Uh, so, you know, don't blame the messenger. I think this run still could have some, some kind of fun uh, interactions as we get further and further along. Obviously, with this amount of health, I'm uh, absolutely going to be interested in doing deals with the devil. Interesting uh, kind of consequence of having Guppy's tail for free. I might be interested in trying to make this run work from a, a Guppy standpoint, which is a, a rarity in, in my Isaac play for sure, because I don't really prioritize any of those Guppy items except for Guppy's paw. Guppy's paw would obviously be beautiful for, beautiful for us here, uh, just to take at least briefly or momentarily. But in the meantime, we definitely got the HP upgrade, which we will take. Uh, we got some more HP, which we might as well take as well. Uh, and we'll go back and play that on the blood bank. We're gonna be fighting Krampus here. You know, we might as well go through with it. It's not gonna be the easiest boss fight we could possibly have right now, but we're doing a lot of damage with our bombs, which is beautiful. Uh, we have another pill here, which is a telepills! Crazy amount of incidents here for some reason. I'm just gonna shoot in another bomb just to make this even easier on me. I realize I only have one bomb left at this point, but, uh, you know, this is to avoid taking damage. And these spirit arts are pretty invaluable as we move forwards. Oh, that was pretty close to me taking damage there. And we managed to get a lump of coal. We also got a... Whoa, okay. Well, we will we'll take the nail and we'll use it once. We basically got a free spirit heart there. Uh, well, we traded a key for it, but uh, now we have telepills. Let's use telepills and see if we get anything useful here. We might as well just pop all of these telepills and see if we get lucky enough to go to the I Am Arrow room, which is usually flush with pills. Uh, and in the meantime, again, we'll try to snag another HP upgrade here. We'll get more pills in the meantime. Uh, I'm abusing the system a little bit here, but I like it as well. Uh, we're probably gonna get enough money to go to the next shops. Just another health upgrade. If we could just find a full health pill or something like that, uh, that would be beautiful for, for us as well. But we have enough spirit hearts that I'm not too concerned about our position so far. That is another I ate pills pill. Uh, I think it's time for us to go. We are now up to nine heart containers already on the second floor. Mind you, it has been pretty slow. Uh, and our damage is not fantastic. Our rate of fire is really good. But we're going to be looking for some way to increase our damage and possibly leverage these red hearts into uh, spirit hearts later. You know what? I will open this golden chest. Pretty good opportunity for us to get an HP upgrade there, potentially. Well, more keys and red hearts. Again, very useful. There's not much point in having this many red hearts if I don't actually have any means to fill them up. So, uh, I'm being a little cocky so far, but, you know, it's probably not in my best interest to be super cocky considering we're only on the third floor here. It's pretty easy to do well on the first few floors. Uh, although I've fucked that up well enough uh, in my past as well. Anyway, we have uh, another tiers upgrade that I've already popped. So we're gonna get another, you know, quarter, and uh, sorry, another sixth of a uh, pill charge here. With the amount of bombs and keys that I have, I feel like opening golden chests seems like a no-brainer to me. We also found the secret room totally by accident. That's another I ate pills pill, but I'm not gonna take that. Fortune teller, uh, we should play the fortune teller because we win every time with Luckfoot, but it almost feels like that makes it too easy. So now we have technology. Not sure if this was a smart idea or a terrible idea, because with Kane you don't get the extra uh, firing with technology. Like, you don't get the uh, benefit of firing, like, tiers as well as technology, but actually, now that I think about it, that might be technology too that I'm thinking about. 
So before we finish this floor, we might as well fight the boss just to get him out of the way here. Uh, now, obviously, you know, our rate of fire is not as important as it used to be, although, you know, we're still gonna do more damage the faster we fire with technology. We're really gonna be on the lookout for, uh, damage increases, of course. Uh, we got Balls of Steel, which we will absolutely take. I feel like we're kind of in a position where it's very unlikely we're gonna lose this run. Uh, another pill for us, a Tears Upgrade, which we'll just pop right away and then avoid the eye. Uh, yeah, we, it, this might be an awful run for Isaac and Blue Baby, though, because we are in the position where basically the only way that we're doing damage is by just seriously hammering on this button as fast as possible. We get the Bible, which we can't use. I didn't want to deal with the angel. Quite frankly, I wanted to deal with the devil because we're already doing so well uh, on our health upgrades that I could definitely afford to give up mm, almost all of these. Actually, with, considering how many spirit arts we have, I could potentially give up literally all of these uh, and still be A-OK -okay moving forwards. Now, with 13 cents, we might as well go to the shop. If we fight greed, so be it. Doesn't bother me. Absolutely, I'm going to want to buy that compass. So we're going to hope to find an arcade, or at the very least, two more cents at some point here. That is not a boss trap room. Just a regular mob trap room. We get another tears upgrade, and shit is getting a little ridiculous at this point. That red heart is actually... This is one of the few situations where I kind of feel like that red heart might have been worthwhile. I wonder if there's something to be said at this point for me actually, like, deliberately taking damage. Uh, in order to get more pills, because the, the odds of me getting a health upgrade are pretty high. And if I don't get a health upgrade, then the odds of me getting... Oh, that's not good. The odds of me getting balls of steel are pretty high. I'm taking a lot of damage here, which means I should uh, pop some more pills, actually. Telepills. Beautiful. Not really that interested, but we've already seen everything, so we might as well at least give it a try. That's an I ate it pill. Uh, that is another I ate it pill. We're still looking for two more cents. Should not be that difficult to find, and the compass will be a, a great predictor or, you know improver of our odds of success moving forwards. I like this run a lot so far. I worry that it might be seen as a little bit imbalanced. It seems like a little bit tipped in our favor. Uh, this is gonna be our last room except for the curse room, so I hope that we find two more cents here. We find a bomb. You know what? I'm willing to invest in this. We get a tears upgrade for our trouble. Uh, we get two bombs and basically another pill. So I, I, I spent a lot of money on that floor. You know what? This is the point, I guess, where we go into the fortune teller, and uh, we can't really win money from the fortune teller, but if we blow it up, we might get two cents? I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't want to lose my trinket by accident, or accidentally pick up the tick, of course. So, let's just blow it up, and it's gonna cost us two bombs for the attempt here, but it's worth it to try to get uh, to the compass, I would say. We got a golden chest. The golden chest gives us a single cent! Oh man, that's unfortunate. I guess we will just go, then. It's a shame that we're missing out on the compass, but oh, one more bomb for one more cent. All right, never mind. Uh, yes, I was just gonna say, assuming we make the bridge there and don't accidentally just blow it up, uh, we are gonna be able to get the compass. That costs us a lot of our resources, and you know, our ability to get golden chests is probably gonna be compromised a little bit on the next floor. At least ones that are over chasms or gaps. But in the meantime, uh, this was definitely a solid run on this floor, and that compass is gonna make things very, very easy for us, or easier for us as we move forwards. In the meantime, though. Lots of health, huge rate of fire, uh, decent other statistics, except I would love to improve our damage a little bit by way of some deal with the devil. Now, I didn't take that range upgrade, but this balancer of taking no items from boss rooms or item rooms that increase uh, range, tiers, or speed kind of seems like, you know, it's not going to do that much, really, to, to stop me. Uh, so I'm not sure how I feel about that necessarily. I am popping open basically every golden chest I come across. They've paid out fairly well for me so far. That my, my reasoning is, I don't necessarily understand how the Luckfoot works, but I understand that Luckfoot, you know, the intention is that it makes you more lucky, uh, so I try to use it as much as possible. Now we got lucky, there is a blood bank here, right in front of the boss trap room, which means it's pretty much a guarantee, as we get a health upgrade, uh, that I'll be able to go in and see what's going on in here. The red chest contains spiders, which will die in one hit. Uh, but then we'll just start playing this blood bank. And you know what? In the meantime, I should, uh, use I found pills here. Also, this is gonna allow us to get more money. More pills, of course. We got a weird one here. It's the first time we've ever had that one. Uh, and this might be a good chance for me to get an HP upgrade as well. You never know. There's another health upgrade. Okay, this is absurd. I don't even want the HP upgrade from the blood bank. I just want the blood bank to keep giving us HP upgrades from our pills. Uh, that's a tears upgrade. Beautiful. We are gonna be a statistical monster moving forward here. Not to mention, again, the kind of staggering money we have. The Balls of Steel pill, always worthwhile. I haven't lost that much health, but I did lose a little bit on the last floor. I'm interested to see what this white pill is, though. Uh, that is another Balls of Steel pill. We are <laughs> a monster with respect to lucky pills. What is this white one, though? Bombs are key? Yeah, it is bombs are key. 
I predicted that. Uh, we got our HP upgrade here, which means more plays of the Blood Bank. Um, but yeah, I, I wasn't like a soothsayer or anything by predicting that. Uh, mostly just kind of process of elimination. What are the not bad pills we haven't seen so far? It could have been uh, bad gas or bombs are, bombs are key, I believe. Those are the only two options that I could think of. I guess it could have been a speed or a range upgrade as well. So maybe I did get kind of lucky there. Anyway, we will just go back and play our Blood Bank another two times, get some more pills. Telepills don't really interest me, but we are up to 16 cents, so let's start doing some exploration here. Uh, this is a pretty good example of how pills can make your run insanely overpowered, but, you know, to be fair, we do have Nun's Habit, Battery, and 9 Volt. There's another health upgrade. If we didn't have the health upgrade in rotation right now, it might be a little bit more difficult uh, to make this run work, but as is right now, like, it feels like nothing can stop us. We're going to keep taking these I found pills, even though they don't appear to be uh, any kind of benefit whatsoever. We're getting a lot of keys. I mean, the Luckfoot is causing us to get a lot of consumable drops here. I guess... Oh, that's definitely damage I'm going to take. Uh, a lot of damage I'm going to take, sadly. And we just got another I found pills, which is unfortunate, I guess. But oh well. Our item room contains the razor blade, which we can't use, but I'm not too peeved about. Uh, our boss room contains... Or our uh, shop contains greed. I was going to say our greed room, which is oddly prescient, I guess. Uh, this is going to be easy, though, because we have infinite range and we have enough keys to pop him open again. Again, what I was going to say earlier is that Guppy's tail seems to scale really well with the Luckfoot, because every time we open a golden chest, we almost don't have to worry about it not being worthwhile, because it almost always pays out with a key, and if it doesn't pay out with at least one key, uh, then it seems to pay out with just a lot of miscellaneous shit that is really useful as well. So if we get another pill here, I don't know what this one is. Uh, this bombs are key. So we're going to pop this open first. That's uh, an I found pills. Uh, and we have bombs of key as well. You know what? It's probably worth using the bombs of key just to give us a few more keys. Uh, and I guess we'll take telepills, but we also have another balls of steel pill here. I actually kind of don't even want to take telepills. We'll just abandon it for now. And in the meantime, this is a testament to even though your damage isn't great, uh, you can compensate for it in other ways. Oftentimes I'm a little short-sighted about that. I'm like, oh, I didn't get any more damage. That's what caused our run to die. Well, tears upgrades also work. Not to mention getting a fuck ton of HP. Now, if only I could get a deal with the devil, I would be psyched if I could pick up Mom's Knife or something like that. Uh, although, people would probably hate me and unsubscribe from the channel. Whatever, man. It's all about the MLG Isaac play. I'm here for the game. So, sadly, uh, we can't buy that item from the shop. I would love to get the blue candle at this point because these pills are absolutely overkill now. Uh, but we are on the depths part one. The, the thing that's interesting about this run is that it has been fairly slow. Because I have been kind of trying to accrue every single advantage possible. Look at the staggering amount of bombs and money we are picking up here. Uh, and we got another Balls of Steel pill. If I wanted to rush, I could absolutely do that at this point. That's certainly what's going to happen once we get down to the womb. Uh, but, you know, to be quite honest with you, I actually could have gone slower on this run. I haven't been doing every single room on every single floor. Which would obviously just give me more pills. Every pill seems to be good, so... Uh, that wouldn't be bad. We're getting another two spirit hearts and then another two right here. You know, gaining four spirit hearts per room makes me feel that there's basically no way uh, that this run can crash and burn at this point. But I have been wrong on that before. That's Mr. Boom, which we can't really take. I say we go fight our Depths Part 1 boss and then move onwards. What could stop us right now? I'm just trying to think. We'd have to run into a series. I, like, first things first, I can't see us dying before the chest. I was going to say the cathedral to be kind of... Uh, realistic or cautiously optimistic maybe, but I seriously don't think anything on the cathedral can stop us at this point given again the staggering amount of health we have uh, Especially if I can just temporarily pick up Guppy's paw and have permanent Polaroid of in invincibility along with like 50 spirit hearts uh, That'll be insane like we do right now. We have over 12 hearts like heart containers at least uh, Well, I mean over 12 I guess kind of clarifies that at least part, but uh I have no idea exactly how many we have. It might be 15, it might be 13, it might be 25, but uh, we are going to pick up Little Gish here, which is another solid upgrade. Uh, if I can just stay the F over here, we're going to get another Bombs or Key Pill, which again might be worthwhile. I'm using definitely uh, more keys than Bombs at this point. And you know, my, my technology here is doing like more damage than a high-powered Brimstone, I feel. So I don't really worry about uh, using these Bombs for the Mom's Heart boss fight. I think we're going to be fine nonetheless. Gish actually has... A fairly substantial amount of HP for uh, a fairly early game, a mid-game, I guess, boss. So this guy is uh, definitely going to go under here. We're going to get a Spirit Heart, we're going to get a Little Gish, and we're going to go down to the next floor. I really want some full HP, just so I can, you know, again, start leveraging this at the Blood Banks, I guess. 
I'm gonna take you to the bank, Senator Trent. To the blood bank. I don't know. You guys watch Steven Seagal movies, or is that just me in this day and age? That's eh, probably not just me, let's be honest. The internet's a big place. Uh, we have a mini boss room, we have an item room, we have an arcade. We've got a lot of good stuff on this floor. Uh, we also have Judgment, who appeals to me because I have a staggering amount of money here. I really just want to get the HP upgrade now. Ah, uh, we can't take uh, Blood Rites. I really just want to get the HP upgrade now. Uh, from the uh, Blood Bank, that is, because I kind of want to get close to back to full health. There's another health. Oh, I took Bombs of Key by accident. Not at the end of the world, for sure. We have another health upgrade as well, which we'll just pop as we go to the arcade. There's a boss trap room uh, over on the other side of the map. Hey, there we go. It doesn't take us back to full health, but it did hook us up a little bit. Plus the speed upgrade there can't be uh, overstated in terms of its value. We are going to fight Lust here. As a result of Little Gish and our speed upgrade, I'm pretty confident that we can just play chicken there. Take our two spirit hearts, followed by... Uh, I found pills, which is not really valuable at all, actually. Isaac's fork not really that interesting. And another spirit heart and bomb. Uh, well, we can't we can't go to the blood bank anymore because it has already paid out for us. So we might as well uh, just make our way to this boss and item room combination down here. I'm at the item room. I'm at the boss room. I'm at the combo. Oh, no, this actually isn't even the right way, which provides a convenient area for me to just go through and fight this boss. I suppose I was gonna go back to the item room, but I was like, you know what? At this point. I'm not 100% sure it, it totally matters. We're doing so staggeringly good. I kind of just want to expedite the uh, the process of victory here uh, so that we can perhaps move on to a more balanced challenge run in the future. I apologize for this being imbalanced, but again, uh, you know, this is crowdsourced voting, which makes me sound like a grandmother as I, you know, use those terms somewhat incorrectly. But in any case, uh, I didn't select this run, and I, you know, and on a gut reaction level, I thought this run sounded pretty good, uh, pretty balanced, but. Just goes to say that sometimes appearances can be deceptive, as Brad Pitt said in Burn After Reading. Yes, I understand the joke. We will take our tears upgrade, um, and move on to the next floor. I don't really want that. I ate pills. And now things should start going a little bit more quickly, even though the floors are going to get longer. Oh, please tell me we don't have a game-breaking pink glitch. Taking this opportunity to rehydrate a little bit. I just recorded that Strange Loves Vampire Boyfriends video. So my, uh reader or narrator voice is totally shot. In any case, we'll wait here for a second. How's it going, everybody? I just noticed that, I should notice this before, like, nearly episode 500, but I just noticed that in the vignettes, uh, I guess the Isaac in the vignettes is connected to the character that you have. I always thought it was just the standard, like, stock Isaac, but, there, you know, there's an eye patch on Kane here. Shows what I know. So we are on Utero 1. It certainly looks like the boss room is going to be up here in this general direction. Uh, at this point, you know what? It's still absolutely worth our while uh, to play these blood banks. Not just to get the uh, potential HP upgrades, of course. Uh, actually, the IV bag is pretty solid here. I don't really want the money. Uh, but by getting us down super low on health, uh, it will allow us to get permanent Polaroid invincibility. I can't tell how many spirit arts we have, so this is kind of an aggressive gamble. But at the same time, uh, I feel like... This is probably a smart idea. Oh, we might as well keep playing it, I guess. Since we have invincibility. Uh, yes, yeah, so we picked up like literally 40 cents there. Somewhere around there. Obviously, we're gonna go back to our pills. And then we'll move onwards. I could have played it one more time. What's in our golden chest? Kane's Eye would be interesting, but uh, of course, I can't get rid of my uh, safety cap because that's uh, an integral part of this run. So, let's move over to the boss. This was a, a very quick floor, even though I did take some time to abuse the IV bag there. Now, this is a combination of items that is pretty unlikely to naturally occur in the Isaac environment, considering we got Nun's Habit, Battery, and 9 volts. Uh, but apart from that, this run doesn't seem that unrealistic. You just have to get pretty goddamn lucky to make it happen. But this is the kind of thing, you know, why don't you try it out at home? Uh, if you're not so good at Isaac, maybe this is the kind of run that could, uh, you know, give you a, a mom kill or even a blue baby kill or something like that. I'm taking some damage here. Obviously, I, w I should go back and play the IV bag again because the whole point of this is that I wanted a permanent Polaroid invincibility uh, and I don't have it because I, I have uh, one full spirit heart instead of half a spirit heart right now. So we might as well take our tarot cards. This is one of the first tarot cards we've actually gotten in the game so far because we've been focusing on pills, man. I don't do that hard shit. Please tell me that this guy is going to die at some point. He's like immune to laser beams. There we go. We get a cube of meat. We get a deal with the devil. Fucking finally. Uh, let's take our pill first. No, let's not take our pill. What's the tarot card? Temperance. Oh, okay. Well, that saves us a little backtracking, I guess. Uh, gives us a little bit more money, too. And then we'll see what we got in the boss trap room here. Okay, it's Brimstone and the Mark. I'm going to take the Mark. 
but I'm not gonna take, unless I can take it without losing health at this point, because I was invincible. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> like, I did it just to prove a point, I guess. I don't know if that's gonna make things better or worse for us moving forwards, but in any case, uh, we should have crazy damage right now, and I still did not even see, like, any movement in our heart containers, so, uh, I, I think we're gonna be totally fine. Our damage is pretty strong right now. Doesn't appear that technology and brimstone have, like, awful, uh, synergistic effects, and in fact, it appears that our, our rate of fire appears to be pretty similar, uh, under brimstone, as to what I would expect it to be, and our damage is through the damn roof. So that's another I found pills and yet another spirit heart. Inevitably, I'm gonna pick up a red heart and I'm gonna fuck up my permanent Polaroid invincibility, but it's not gonna matter at this point. They could probably give me like, uh, yeah, I might as well take the health up, I guess. Uh, they could give me, uh, like, uh, nine lives or it lives, whatever they call it. A dead cat, I guess, is the actual name for it. I always erroneously call it it lives. Um, but yeah, they could give me that, and I would still probably take it in the deal with the devil room, just because I feel like our chances are real strong right now. We're not killing Mom's heart as, as fast as maybe I had originally anticipated. It might have been better to, to just roll with technology, but I think I got Brimstone for free because I had the invincibility there. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not 100% sure. We are killing Mom's heart faster than we have, uh, in the recent past, at least. Now, if only we can get Mom's knife and Polyphemus to go along with this. We do have enough keys to open the shit on the chest. And actually, this is gonna make, uh, taking Brimstone is gonna make Isaac a lot easier because we're not gonna be firing as quickly. Instead, we're just gonna focus it all into, uh, you know, one concentrated burst and then release it by Brimstone. So there's, a uh, Greed, presumably, in that secret room right there, which doesn't really interest me. I would love to have more bombs. We do have a lot of, uh, damage on our bombs. Uh, but the keys are more valuable because it could make for some hilariously overpowered runs as we move forwards, I suggest- I suppose? It, it traded, I guess, for I suppose midway through that, uh, statement there. And I apologize for that. Now, with Loki- Oh! I can't believe I got hit there! But permanent Polaroid invincibility does mean free pill. Uh, you know what? It might be worth taking telepills here. It's not like Isaac gives us anything necessary anyway. Should have probably taken that pill first. This may have taken us closer to the boss room? Not 100% sure. Oh, come on, you're gonna stand right next to me? Hardly seems fair. Teleported, like, directly in front of me. Not to mention, I got these asshole blue spikes here. Uh, sure, let's take this. I found pills. Alright, whatever. What was the other I think it was a Tears Up that was left in there, which, to be honest with you, I should probably go back and get, but Tears Upgrades don't seem all that valuable to me after I've already gotten, like, seven of them. Oh, well, this is a dead end, so we are gonna be fighting fruitlessly fighting a, a couple of Loki here. That was just me trying to get the bomb fly to explode at exactly the right time. If I can get these explosions to hit the Loki. Loki's? Loci? Again, I always mess that up, but um, they're gonna be totally easy to kill. And actually, they're gonna do the dirty work for me, essentially. Again, I love when they create the bomb flies. It makes my job ten times easier. We get another telepills. Sure, why not? This has taken us to a mob trap room. Potentially closer to the boss? I don't know. But at the very least, we do have a Tinted Rock in here that I can't blow up. Why am I fighting Monstro 2 the worst way I could possibly foresee me fighting him? Or just regular C. Not 4C. Not 5C. Not 2C. Just regular old onesie. Or Snuggy. Now, oh, I've still got him caught in my tangled web of intrigue here. He's not dead, which means I've made a terrible mistake because he's going to summon a bunch of flies here and annoy the shit out of me. I would deserve to take damage there, but luckily did not. Uh, we have a golden chest, it's tempting, but I would rather just move on and try to fight the boss as quickly as possible. We definitely have the speed necessary to kill war here. Health upgrade at this point is just like, sure, why not? Might as well uh, abandon our trip through this room now that the, the door has opened up for us. No reason why not. Uh, this should be easy enough. Indeed, they are dead. It's actually one of the few times I found that room easy to go through. Now, we can't get to that chest without wasting a key, and those keys are obviously going to be more useful for us uh, on the chest, for sure. So, uh, instead, I'm just going to focus on not getting hit by Gertie Jr., although at this point, it doesn't even matter, man. It's like, what do you get the man who, with the run that has everything? And we basically cannot be stopped right now, as far as I can tell. We did pick up a couple of bombs there. Uh... Everybody say it with me, who gives a shit, because we are pretty much... I mean, I know you would love to see me get shut down now because of my unbelievable hubris with this run. It's not like my skill has dictated this. It's mostly been just kind of inevitable, quite frankly. Uh, I could almost just start tanking shit against uh, Isaac here. And in fact, that would speed up the fight. And I guess it wouldn't... There's no literal way that that would cause me to take less damage. There we go. Now I'm just going to go stand next to him. And the reason I'm doing this is obviously so, uh, you know, Cuba Meat gets some hits in. We get Bombs are Key, which does not interest me in the least. 
Might be worth using some bombs on him, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna go stand right next to him. I still think a, a circling cube of meat might do more damage than a brimstone shot, so... Whether or not this speeds things up greatly is open for interpretation, I suppose, but... Uh, at some point, it just doesn't matter. I mean, this is the the ultimate combination for this this Isaac boss fight. The only thing that would make it better is if we had Blue Candle, because with Brimstone, he's literally firing like one shot every four seconds, which makes it super easy to dodge. Also, by all means, continue creating angel fetuses in a direct line uh, that I can hit both of like both you and all the angel fetuses at the same time. That makes my life a lot easier as well. Uh, not again. Even if our life was as hard as could possibly be, or even if Isaac made our life as hard as he possibly could. Uh, there's no way for us to lose here. We're just too- we're not even that strong, we're just kind of too hardy. Like, we have so much health that dying is kind of incomprehensible. Things might change on the chest, I really doubt it, uh, but it, it's certainly a possibility, I suppose. And at this point, I don't even need to spam to abuse my, uh, advantages with the, the pill bottle, but we might as well take a tears upgrade. The, the dangerous thing is, I just don't know how many spirit hearts we have, so we could have one spirit heart left here, and then if that goes, we'll just die out of nowhere, I guess, but I, I feel like we're gaining way too much health to uh, have that be an issue. I don't know why that pill just came out of there, but it might be interesting, I guess. Might as well take the five extra homing bombs here. Uh, holy water. Every one of these chests is giving me a pill. That's incredibly strange. Uh, oh my god, Sad Onion might be fantastic here. I kind of wish we still had technology now. Uh, but in any case, do we want chocolate milk and brimstone? I don't think so, that makes things weird. Let's teleport and see if we can get closer to the boss. Alright, well, um... I guess instead I'm just gonna get trapped in this room. Are you- are you serious? I'm gonna hurt myself. So that I could possibly get a new pill. But I, can I seriously not just get out of here? Oh my god, this is ultimate hubris, man! I'm trapped in this room! Please- oh my god, I got telepills out! And I teleported directly to the boss. That was so close! to me accidentally destroying this run. I didn't realize that telepills on the chest can actually put you in a room uh, where you just can't get out of. We might as well just stand next to this dude bro to be quite honest with you. Um, like that's seriously crazy. I, that could have ruined our run right there. I actually got lucky. Uh, I'm not gonna claim that it was ingenious or anything to hurt myself with bombs, but thankfully we did pick up uh, the homing bombs, otherwise I wouldn't have had enough bombs to hurt myself enough to get telepills, especially if we had not gotten telepills on the first pill that we got there. We could have just trapped ourselves in that room and gotten health upgrades and been left in limbo for all eternity. But, uh, all that is behind us now. I can't really imagine us dying. So why don't we just toss some bombs in here to maybe kill Blue Baby a little bit faster. I mean, again, it's a crapshoot. I could be at basically zero health right now. I don't think I am. In fact, I'm fairly confident that I'm at, like, 20 or 30 spirit hearts uh, But you know I could have miscounted or miscalculated I Doubt it, but you know, we'll see we are on the third phase of blue baby here uh, If I just go stand next to him Cuba meat's gonna do some real nasty work This blowtorch in his pliers we keep getting hits uh, But it doesn't really matter in the whole scheme of things might as well take this health upgrade Make sure I'm stacked going into the finals here uh, one or, nah, probably like four or five more hits and Blue Baby will be dead. Surprising the amount of health, and we're not doing that much damage. One more hit should do it now. Again, uh, we're gonna kill all these angel fetuses, probably in one go if I can get lucky here. No, one teleported away. But in any case, that was an easy run, but it was also a fun run, and we kind of had a, a little bit of a twist there at the end. In any case, thank you to Amoron is here for that challenge run suggestion, and thank you to you guys for watching. Continue suggesting your own challenge runs, I will do the, do the ones. Uh, that I deem most entertaining or appropriate that I see in the top comments. As always, thank you guys for watching, and again, I will see you next time.